you know, I, I don't know if I don't know if it's very consistent, but Mott's seems to put more pulp in the applesauce compared to the the Good Sam or whatever it's called, the Walmart brand. The Walmart brand has got more liquid. This stuff tastes like it has more fiber. It only says one gram of fiber. Um, so so I uh, I'm not I'm not it doesn't it's not like a big difference. I can't say it's a big difference, but I I, I taste the difference. So I, I bought this athlete's foot cream months ago and I haven't used it, and my itch is reduced. It's like buy, the act of buying this has reduced the itchiness. So I'll just kind of hang on to it. All right, so this frozen catfish is from China. I'm a little nervous about it, but I have to test it to see. I, I'm not sure where I've been buying catfish from exactly when I buy the fresh stuff. So we'll see if there's a taste difference. All right, the sun is pretty brutal still, even at this time. I have to stand outside and do some cooking here cooking catfish that almost seems like tilapia I hope it's not I don't doubt as long as it doesn't stink like tilapia it's off to a good it, it can be off to a good start just got to give it time to warm up uh, you know when when it's tilapia with that stink this does not smell like tilapia this does actually smell like catfish Chinese catfish so the heat tends to curl these breads I want to turn them around is after a, a short couple of minutes or so and then uh, that kind of prevents the curling I think let's try to get evened up dryness before the toasting begins so toasted bread no longer gives me sore throats dry sore throats like toasting on the pan and also um, like the flake offs they'll uh, fall through the holes and burn up uh, the, uh, then that's it. I don't I don't mix them with the bread. I guess I could have recorded that. It took a lot of effort, but I pushed my car forward. I have a better chance of getting some shade. And I think ultimately I'd like to be over there sideways. <laughs> All right, Chinese catfish. I took a little bite. I think it's a little drier than regular catfish. I think it's a little drier. It's still oily, but there's a little dryness to it. But it's not terrible like tilapia, so that's a good thing. One thing about the shipping wars that catches my attention is how temporary lumber is used. Lumber like this that I'm using for my calf raises. It's like these shipping war guys well, just use it, use lumber, cut it up and measure it and and use it just for a, a shipment. And then it's, and then it's I guess, worthless because it's a specific size just for the packaging to hold uh, odd shaped objects in place. And that's it. Like lumber is a dime a dozen or something. It's like buying a notebook. And it's just interesting to me. I, I usually think of lumber as as a use for more long-term purpose. But uh, I mean, I, I'll, sometimes I'll see it even with people who work on concrete and curbs and stuff, they'll you just use uh, specific lumber just to put up concrete. And then I think they might just throw it away. But I guess lumber is like the equivalent of finding sticks in the woods and making use of sticks, tying them, them in specific ways to hold something in place for transport or whatever and then then the sticks are a part of the uh, refuse or they're, they're no longer no longer needed at all and can be thrown away oh my god okay i am out in a field looking for something to put in the teapot and alfalfa is a predominant plant so i guess i'll pick alfalfa I think I can smell it. It reminds me of that floral smell uh, being out here. And that's what I taste too. The taste closely coordinates with the smell. 
yeah these look healthy I didn't have any yesterday so as long as I don't I don't want to have it every day but since I skipped yesterday I still have yet to positively identify this I believe this is edible but I'm, I'm just I need to know what it is in case there might be something pro a problem with it but once again now see it comes out just like a carrot it's just a little I, th I think it's edible and the milkiness has no taste maybe I'll just give the root a little try this might be what uh, gave Lewis and Clark bad gas problems when they ate the root the Indians might have pull, pulled this I can't recall I identified this at one time when I was really studying hard but that was so long ago here we go what I was what I really wanted in the initial parts the initial start of the COVID-19 issue I think I want to take a few leaves maybe make a tea out of one and throw it throw toss it into the toss it into the pot and then hold on to some others wow this is kind of rare to find usually you know you find it it's supposed to be pretty more plentiful than what i when i've been seeing it's the pharmacy when you can walk out onto the field get alfalfa dandelion mystery plant and moline mystery plant that i believe is safe i believe in this prickly plant most of the prickly types are safe because they're protecting themselves already they don't need to make poison but this is so unusual i don't know what it is all right i'm not even going to bother pulling the leaves off of the alfalfa it's such a mess to, to clean out so i'll keep it all together and a lot of insects love sucking on the leaves there's a lot of bite damage all over alfalfa does not produce any any defense against pests and the dandelion leaves go in doesn't take too i don't want to take too much one moline leaf and then i'll hold on to these others as best i can and then this i'm a little scared to toss it in i'd like to i think i want to just chew on it and try to get familiar with the feeling i don't want to I don't want a big surprise from this. Just like catnip, star anise is safe for babies. Baby. All right, this is disgusting. <clears throat> when cops take it upon themselves to trespass me from areas, I gotta start asking them who do they trust to be in that area? What are their standards for trusting a person in that area? Do they only trust themselves? What, what do you need for credentials? The creek looks a little dry at Villa High Park. Wow, that looks so much like pigweed. Is that pigweed? No way. That's just a very hydrated pigweed. No. So similar. That's not pigweed. There's no way. Even when pigweed's highly, highly, um, like, not moisturized, highly hydrated. I don't think it loses its curl and its leaf. That curly leaf in that pigweed is like a curly tail on a pig. They don't lose that. There's a strongly worded political activist sign. They really have to get their message out there. The neighbors also have a very politically charged sign that can really uh, motivate people. It 
they really made an impact with me there. I think I might try to make it to the um, library. This is a little trail that leads that way. I was a little uh, hesitant because of this house. It's just being built. They are working inside right now. And th that didn't show up on the map. I saw just an open prairie area here. So I was a little hesitant walking around that house. But it looks like their property is, is not going to include this trail. They're going to still keep the trail and not not claim it as their property so you can walk through here but on this property you can see they're advertising right on the property so it look eco acres so it looks like this is private property <clears throat> so private property that they're just letting people walk through right now it's that slow of a community that they'd just let that happen. Bigger cities would not. I think I had my strongest dose of alfalfa yet when I included the stems with the tea boiling the stems and leaves together. I didn't record it, but it threw away really nice. I didn't have to pick individual leaves. They all stayed together. I just dumped the teapot and the whole stem and it was completely clean without me having to pick in there. I also want to um, make a note that this strong dose is being felt right now. My lips got slightly tingly, so it only lasted a short time. Slightly tingly for a short time. And I, I feel this, uh, I don't know, this weird uh, uplifting of pressure in my body it's like a weird form of energy it might be from the coffee all right getting closer to the library i gotta admit i do like this walk it looks very nice very peaceful people it just looks orderly and clean two excellent qualities <clears throat> Right, approaching the library. I don't expect it to be open. I just checked if they have any posted time frame when they open and what the Wi Fi situation is. You can give me one and pay, you can give me one and give me a dollar fifty. No, I need either a bandana or something to cover your mouth. When did the library open? Uh, May 11th. What's the date? That's a few days now. Uh huh. We've been over a week. A week? Two weeks. Do you, uh, um, are you a librarian then? Yeah. Okay. Is it what's what system is all open right now? Like what other libraries is it? I don't know actually. Aren't you working with a network? Well, we're independent, but we have a network. Of yeah, you like trade. Yeah. You trade books. Yeah. Well, so what? Open, how open. about north of here? What's? Norton? There, okay, Norton is north of here? Uh-huh. Okay. Mainly... Oh. Alright, Norton, Manoy. Um... Norton, okay. Okay, what, what's, um, what are the hours, does it say? Yeah. Uh, we're here until 5 today. Huh? Oh, 5? Okay, what time are you open? 9. 9 to 5? Okay. Saturdays, 10 to 4. And then Sunday's close? Close, yeah. Okay. Alright. Um, oh yeah, okay. Let me. Well, whatever. I could. I could throw something on my face. That's not a big deal. Just to hang out in a library again. Heck yeah. I'll park over here. This is nice. Today's a good day just to be outside right now. But man, there's some nasty ones. Books are fun. What the heck? Is this one of them little free libraries? Oh, it's fake. And there's a lock. It's some kind of a puzzle. Weird. It's in the library here. So they they uh, have a key for the lot for the bathrooms, and they didn't usually they didn't do that before. Wow, that guy's really giving her. Boom. 
So I just admit I feel a relief that the library is open and I can get electricity and refill my batteries. This is great. I can last another day. I can last today. No problem. So I don't think I'll go. Maybe walk over a bicycle with something. I think I'll try to stay in the Dillon's lot all day today. Especially with the weather, as nice as it is. I can handle this weather. And Dillon's is nice and peaceful. All right. I've been having a lot of issues with my neck. Uh, it catches when I take, when I turn. And then go back to center. Sometimes it catches like there's something in the way. It's, it seems like it's getting worse. I think I got a growth. I'm thinking on my way to the library tomorrow, I'll stop here and grab some pigweed for some pigweed tea.